the next system call is the L seek okay this L seek system call is using to why we are using means the every system call means write or read okay we are using the pro of files most probably write and read okay this write and read system calls always relative to the current offset so here most probably we are using the offset values okay with the help of offset value the processor will know that particular which type of operation will be performed on the file that is the read or write so read and write system calls for every time always it will be relative to the offset with diff with the offset of a particular file okay so this l seek system call is used to change as the offset of offset to the different value is when we are using this l seek we can change this offset value into a different value okay means we are changing the operations read and write with the help of this s sleek okay so this s sleek uh, system call we will write as a first we will give the offset and s sleek s l seek and the int file descriptor for which file you want to change the offset value so that will be indicated by the f descriptor file descriptor and then offset position okay what is the value where you want to change that particular value that will be indicated by the position okay this is about the f l c next one is the link okay link means nothing but it will be give the path name of the file okay that is the link link will be created what means for each and every file we have a one path name with the help of that particular path name only we are going to access that particular file okay so with the help of this system call we are going to create new link new path name for the existing file means we are changing the location of the file from one place to another place with the help of link system call okay it will be create a new link it not creating a new file it is creating a new link for the existing file what is available already available in the system for that system sorry what is available file in the system for that particular file we are going to create a new path new path name with the help of this link system call okay so how we will write means ash include ash include uni std dot h uni std dot h and the int what is the system call we are using link constant char constant char of star what is the current link this is the current link and next one is the constant char star new link okay so in this link system call we are using the two parameters or we can call it as a two attributes that is the current link of the existing file okay and the what is the file what is the link you want to create what is the new path you want to give for the particular existing file for that we have to give the new link okay that is about the link system call the next one is the unlink we are created a new path then we you want to remove the path name for a 
file. Okay, you want to delete a link of an existing file. Delete link of a existing file. Existing file. For that purpose, if you want to delete a link for existing file, then we will use the unlink system card. Okay. Then we will write it as a ash include unistd.h unistd.h next integer unlink integer unlink constant care constant care next we will give the pointer current link then automatically it will be deletes the what is the existing file what is the file is opening that particular file link will be deleted in the system okay next we are going to give the stat f stat okay stat f stat okay what is this stat and f stat okay this functions will be retrieves the file attributes of a given file so we have the file attributes that particular file attributes you want to retrieve from the system okay of a current if file file then we will use this stat and f stat system calls okay what is the stat is the stat will be give the path name path name of a file okay and s f stat f stat will be give the file descriptor okay with the help of file descriptor also we can access the file and the otherwise you can give the path name also with the help of path name also we can access the file so these are the attributes of a file so the two ways we can uh, retrieve the file attributes either s stat or f stat means file stat so how we will write means as include system stat as include sys stat dot h s yes. and the uni std as include uni std dot h okay then here we will write stat constant char constant char constant char path name path name struct s t r u c t struct stat star stat okay here this particular stat v this is the variable okay here we are going to access the with the help of this stat we are going to retrieve in the path name and next int f stat file stat here we are going to retrieve the value of file descriptor so that's why we are going to give constant int file descriptor file descriptor comma same as the struct what we are written for the stat stat f stat we will write here star stat v okay stat v this in this way we are going to retrieve the file attributes of a one existing file okay next another one is the access system call yes access 
sister car okay so it will be give the checks it will be checks check the existing access permissions of a user to a named file okay means we are in the normally the people are divided into a three groups that is the owner and the one is the group another one is the user okay we have different types of file permissions for the owner and the groups and the user okay when we are using this access system card then it will be check whether the particular user is having the which type of access permissions to a file okay so we need to give a one file name or you can give as a path name okay then particular with the help of path name it will identify the file and then it will be give the what are the permissions access permissions are having of a particular user with the help of that particular file okay so for that we will need to write ash include ash include uni std dot h uni std dot h and the int we are checking the permissions what are the permissions are having a user for a file so we need to give the file constant char path name path name and next int flag okay flag value will be retrieving the values of which type of permissions is can use the contains of a file so this bit flag this bit flag we are using okay for this bit flag okay we have different types of bit flags we have that is the first one is the f o k second one is the r o k third one is the right o k next one is the o k okay means file okay when we are using this when it is retrieving the f o k means it will be checks what it will be check when we are using the f o k then the particular with the help of this access system call then it will be checks whether the file is existing or not the particular file is existing or not existing or not that file available in the system or not that will be checks with the help of f o k flag okay then next for the read o k okay for it will be r indicates the read when we are using the r o k flag then it will be checks whether the file whether the user is having the it will be have a calling process has read permission it having the read permission or not checks it will be checks whether a calling process means what is the user is requesting okay then that is called as a calling process then that particular calling process having the read permission or not that will be checks with the help of this flag or okay next one is the w okay means write it will be checks whether it is the write permission or not write permission or not then when we are using the this x okay flag it will be checks it is the having the execute execute permission execute permission okay write write execute and file means whether the file is existing or not that will be indicate flag this flags big flags will be indicating okay with the help of this access system call we can check the particular file permissions of a user